This video will walk through the steps of loading labels and ribbons into the ELP line of printers. To load labels, we start by unlocking the supply label guide. The labels are then simply placed on the label supply spindle. The supply label guide is replaced and locked into place, making sure that it's not too tight up against the labels. The open side architecture allows us to bring the labels in from the side underneath the lower guide roller and underneath the print head. Once the labels are in place, we do want to make sure that the guide ring gets moved out to a position that is on the outside of the label web. This will prevent the web from moving left to right during printing. Simply slides over and then adjust back against the edge of the web. Loading ribbons is also a very easy process. We start on the ribbon take-up spindle by putting on an empty core. There is an empty core that comes with the printer when you first buy it, and then you simply transfer empty cores as you use ribbons. You by turning the green knob there, we tighten the core onto the spindle. You need to determine which type of ribbon you have if it's coated side in or coated side out. The printer can use either one. Most of the time the ink is on the dull side of the ribbon. So in this case we have a coated side in ribbon so we'll load it appropriately. Place the ribbon on the spindle. Again the open side architecture allows us to easily bring the ribbon through and then we'll tape it up on the take up spindle. use a piece of tape or a label or whatever. Roll it tight. We do need to tighten the spindle on the ribbon supply spindle as well. A few turns of the knob counterclockwise will do that and then we can roll it smooth. Labels and ribbons are now loaded into the printer and we're ready to go. There is one more thing though that we need to do before we can print. Before we print we have to make sure the sensor is in the correct position. The labels are underneath the sensor bar and the actual sensor is the diode here that you see with the arrow. It can be moved left and right by grabbing the small tab that is part of the sensor bar assembly and we just want to make sure that the diode is over one of the labels. What we don't want is to have the sensor positioned in a gap in between the labels, as shown here. The printer will not be able to sense correctly. Once the sensor is in position, we can lock the head down and we'll be ready to print. After the print head gets locked down, you can press the feed key the printer will calibrate itself by feeding a couple of rows of labels and it's ready to go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of this at all, please call us at 800-533-2559. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for choosing Identco.